and welcome back to class of design of machine element i am hitesh rayani assistant professor at lj institute of engineering and technology this is lecture 34 introduction springs the learning outcomes of this lectures is to learn the introductions regarding springs like uh, definitions of springs applications of spring types of spring and uh, uh, whatever the terminology is used in spring so in this lectures we learn all these basics regarding the spring so let's start our lecture that is the introductions so what is spring as, as we know we seen a uh, spring uh, in uh, many applications so spring is what so spring is nothing but the uh, elastic body whose function is to distort when the loaded and to recover uh, its original self uh, when the load is removed so whenever the load is applied on the spring it distort and uh, when we remove the load uh, it's uh, it uh, recover its original uh, self that is nothing but this spring <coughs> so application of spring what so first applications of spring uh, is to control the energy due to either the shock or vibration we can uh, seen in many applications uh, spring is used to absorb the vibrations or shocks so one of the applications of spring is uh, to absorb either shocks and uh, shock or vibrations second application is to apply the force as in case of brakes clutch etc so in this case uh, case uh, the spring is used to apply the force and third is the store the energy as it, as we seen in the watches and toys etc where the spring is used to store the energy so these are the applications of spring there are more many applications we are here we consider only the applied so next is types of spring so uh, which type of uh, spring is used in different heli, uh, applications we learn in this chapter so first uh, spring type is the helical spring the helical helical spring are made up of wire coil in the form of helix and is primarily intended for the compressive and tensile loads so its primary intent is to uh, for the compressive and uh, or tensile load the cross section of the wire from which the helical spring is made may be either circular rectangular or square so whatever the cross section of spring you can uh, choose according to the applications so there are uh, no any uh, restrictions there may be cross sections of uh, spring wire is circular or square or rectangle so consoles uh, here figures a compression uh, helical spring you can see that here the figure a shows the compression helical spring as a helical spring primary intent for the compressive or tensile load so for the compressive uh, uh, low compressive load the compression helical springs uh, are used and uh, for the tensile load the tensile helical spring are used you can see the both the uh, springs uh, in figure here the compression helical springs and the torsion uh, tensile uh, helical spring is shown next type of spring is spiral uh, or torsion spring so there are torsion uh, spring this spring may be helical or spiral type as shown in figure here the torsion spring uh, may be either uh, helical torsion spring or spiral torsion spring so you can see in figure here uh, there are both uh, helical and spiral torsion spring so the helical type may uh, be used only in applications where the load tends to wind up the spring 
and are used in various electrical mechanisms. So, first uh, case is our torsional spring is a helical torsion spring. So, helical type uh, are used in mostly the electrical mechanisms and uh, it is used only in the applications where the load tends to wind up the springs. And uh, the spiral type is uh, also used where the load tends to increase the number of coils and uh, uh, when the made of flat, uh, flat strips are used in uh, pots and clocks. So you, we can also see in uh, clocks and toys uh, or watches is there are uh, spirals, torsion spring is used. So this is the second type of uh, spring. Now third is the laminate or leaf springs. So laminate springs is uh, here is, you can see there are number of strips which used which are clamped by a uh, clip and uh, bolt. You can see here figure is the leaf spring. Uh, the laminate or leaf spring consists of number of flat plates. You can also see uh, in figure there are number of leaf. Uh, number of uh, flat plate is used and which is clamped together by means of bolt and clamp. So this uh, flat plate is known as the leaves uh, of varying uh, uh, leaves and uh, the length of this plate is varying and held together uh, by means of clamp and bolt as so many figures. This type of uh, spring is mostly used in the automobiles. The major stress produced in the leaf springs are tensile and compressive stress. So most probably the spring uh, uh, in a leaf spring, uh, the major stress is produced is either tensile or compressive or both. Uh, so you can see here the laminated leaf spring in there are one Ma uh, one master leaf spring, uh, one master uh, plate is uh, songs and then there are uh, full extra full length uh, plates and then graduated like graduated length leaf uh, leaves is uh, clamped together by the means of work. So next is the terminologies or terms used in the compression spring. So first is the solid length. So solid length uh, is what? As you can see in figure here, uh, there are uh, when the spring is compressed uh, by the uh, by the externally applied load and uh, when the uh, adjusted coil is uh, clamped to the contact and whatever the length of this compressed spring is nothing but the solid length. So what is solid length? So when the compression spring is compressed until the coil comes into contact with each other then the spring is said to be solid and whatever the length of this spring is known as the solid length so the solid length of this spring is the product of total number of coil and the diameter of wire so you can see a visualization of from the figure that if we have to kind calculate the length of uh, solid length and it is nothing but the number of coils and multiply by the diameter of wire. So mathematically uh, solid length of spring is LS, LS means solid length and it is nothing but the N dash into small d. So here N dash is the total number of uh, tons or coils. So here N dash is the total number of coils and small d is the diameter of wire. Next terminology in uh, compression spring is free length. So here you can see the compression springs uh, which has shows the free length. So whatever the free length uh, uh, you can see that the length is shown as a free length. So the free length of a compression spring as shown in figure is the length of spring in the free or unloaded condition. So here in figure you can see that there are compression spring and it is unloaded condition. So whatever the 
uh, length of this spring uh, as uh, the spring is unloaded condition, it is nothing but the free length. So to calculate the free length of uh, this particular spring, uh, mathematically the free length of spring is calculated as L F. L F is the free length uh, and uh, it is equal to solid length plus maximum compression plus the clearance between adjacent wall. So here uh, LF is equal to here solid length we know that it is N dash into small d and the maximum compression means uh, delta max and uh, the clearance between the adjacent coil is uh, if there are N dash number of coils and there are 1 mm gap between adjacent thread uh, it is uh, N dash minus 1 into 1 so if we adding all this uh, uh, length we get the free length next terminology is the spring index so spring index is uh, defined as the ratio of diameter of mean diameter of coil to the diameter of wire so mathematically the uh, spring index c it is denoted by capital C is equal to capital D by small d. Here capital D is the mean diameter of the coil and small d is the uh, wire diameters. So C capital C that is uh, spring index is nothing but the ratio of capital D that is mean diameter of coil to the wire diameter. Next terminology is spring grade. So spring grade or uh, you can say the stiffness of springs or spring constant is defined as the load required uh, per unit deflection of the spring. So whatever the, you can take the spring and uh, for the unit uh, extensions or unit deflections of that spring, whatever the load is required that is nothing but the spring rate or spring constant. So mathematically, uh, spring rate k or stiffness of spring k is equal to w by delta here w is what w is the load required to uh, deflect unit uh, length so here w is the load and delta is the deflections of the spring so k is w divided by delta now Next is the pitch. As you can see here in figure here, uh, compression helical spring is tons and uh, you can see in figure here the P capital P denotes the pitch of this particular spring. So uh, pitch of coil is defined as the axial distance between adjacent coil and uh, adjacent coil in uncompressed state. So here you can see in figure there are spring which is uncompressed at and whatever the distance, axial distance between two adjacent coil, it is nothing but the pitch of that particular spring. So mathematically the pitch of coil is P is equal to free length divided by N dash minus 1. Here uh, N dash is the total number of tons or total number of coils. You can also write P is equal to LF minus LS divided by N dash plus small d. Here LF is equal to free length of the springs. LS is equal to solid length uh, or solid length of the spring. And N dash is the total number of town uh, or total number of coils. And small d is the diameter of wire. So in these lectures we learn the basics regarding the introductions of spring, uh, like applications of springs, terminology, terminology using springs and uh, types of spring. In next lectures we learn the design of spring. Thank you.